welcome to another weekly vlog. I'm here with my girl Rue and I just finished filming. It's a video that will be up in about two weeks or three weeks or something like that. It's Monday morning. It's a full face of old favorites. So um, lots of fun. It took a big old walk down memory lane last night when I was planning for the video and picking out products, but you'll see that more in the video. Um, but yeah, this week I thought I would vlog again. I've been having a lot of, oh yeah, she's so tired. Um, I thought I would vlog again. I've been having a lot of fun doing it and I'm noticing each vlog, I'm like, oh, this is not a normal week for me. And I've realized I don't know what a normal week for me looks like. I don't have a, a typical week, um, I'm realizing, which has pros and cons. Um, there's flexibility, but at the same time, there's not flexibility. Uh, and like, I just never really know what is coming next. So this week on the docket going to the Inglot store in a couple hours. I'm gonna return something to Best Buy and go get my boyfriend's Valentine's Day gift at Sephora. Uh, I'm buying him the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. He loves that. That's when you know that like you shop a lot is when your boyfriend starts enjoying products at Sephora. <laughs> so I'm gonna get him that for Valentine's Day. I don't think we really have anything planned. Um, yeah, anyways, and then tomorrow I'm going to the Bite Beauty Lip Lab, finally have my appointment with the dermatologist, and I don't really know what is happening else this week, I just know that I have a lot of videos to film, I'm going to Newfoundland at the end of the month, so I need to pre-film um, for a while I'm gone, along with some extra videos, because Newfoundland in February slash March is um, the worst potentially. There's just so much snow, so I'm afraid that I might get stuck there and I don't want to miss any uploads or anything. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Uh, had a bit of an interesting morning this morning. Uh, I just woke up and I have this cyst forming under my eye and I get these like every two or three months and it's just really frustrating. Just really frustrating. I'm just sick of my skin. I'm sick of having to talk about it. I'm sick of other people talking about it. And, uh, yeah, so I had a little cry this morning. It's just really frustrating because it feels like it's stopping me from doing my job. Even though I know it shouldn't, but at the same time I think to myself, well, if they're picking somebody for a campaign, who are they going to pick? Probably the person with more clear skin. I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not, but these are the kind of things that go through my mind. And like, I know I've said this before, but I've had acne for so long that it's just getting to a point where I'm like, is this ever going to end? And it's the worst that it's ever been. And I'm just really sick of getting comments about it. You know, like it might just be someone making a suggestion but at the same time like what works for someone's skin is may not be what works for my skin it's a it's a condition I've had for a long time and then also of course you're getting like rude comments too which is extra fun and I try to you know be as open and honest as possible and I could easily just never show my face I mean it's very easy to tell like that I have acne like it's not a secret um but at the same time, it makes you not want to put yourself out there because you get that extra kind of criticism and whatever else. Anyways, not how I wanted to start this vlog. Um, but yeah, that's kind of uh, what's going on today. So I'm just in the door and I'm going to show you what I'm having for lunch. I am starving. I had a bunch of questions on my last meal prep video about fish and I don't meal prep fish. My boyfriend will cook his ahead of time. I'm a little bit more picky and because I work from home, um, I leave mine raw and I'll eat it for the first probably three days. Generally, I'll have two or three for the week because it doesn't last that long in the fridge and I don't like reheating fish, I, especially salmon. I just love it when it's freshly cooked. I think it's so good. So I just have some portioned fresh salmon here. So I'm gonna have one of these fillets. And I saw someone talking about these recently on Instagram. They are the Seeds of Change quinoa and brown rice with garlic. So I'm gonna heat up some of this. And um, all of this is purchased from Walmart delivery as I've been raving about. And then I'm just gonna heat up some spinach. While that's cooking, why don't Rue and I show you um, what Inglot has so generously supplied me with 
I'm really excited. I already own a bunch of Inglot. I did an Inglot haul not long ago, but there was a few things that I had yet to try or things that I didn't have for my full face. So this is their tinted kind of BB cream. I may use this or their foundation along with some eyebrow stuff, this cute little bag. The Inglot store in Toronto is at Dundas Square, but you can order from their website. I do have a coupon code which I will link down below. And then there's some eyeshadows, under eye concealer, etc., etc. So you'll see this all coming up in a video. Um, I'm going to do a full face of Inglot because I know a lot of people were curious about it. It's kind of like an underrated brand and they do make a lot of great products, good shade ranges, tons of bright colors and all that good stuff. Then I've got this box here from Sunday Riley. What is this, my kid? I'm thinking it's what they're autocorrect. Yeah, their new eye cream. I was curious about this. Brightening and deep puffing eye contour cream. My God, is this not the most luxe thing you've ever seen in your life? I will have to try this out and report back. Here is my lunch, and you can see how cooked down that spinach is. And I haven't tried this yet. It obviously is better to like make your own rice, but this is good if you're in a pinch. Um, it's gonna have higher sodium and everything, but uh, it's easy. <laughs> morning guys just doing a little early morning blogging trying to get better at blogging um Samantha Jane YT is my blog I've got a little guest here watching me you gonna pretend you weren't sitting here watching me yes you're staring at me anyways um I woke up with a freaking swollen eye um on the eye that I have that cystic piece of acne or whatever I'm just so pissed I'm supposed to film something this morning I'm sorry if this vlog is just me complaining about my skin but uh heading to the bite beauty lip lab at 11 and then i'm going to dermatology appointment at three so that is kind of the plan for the day but right now i'm going to just do some blogging and schedule some posts so here is my breakfast i never ever have egg whites but we have no eggs and just egg whites so i've been forced into egg whites so therefore i put some cheese on top to make it somewhat appetizing because egg whites kind of gross me out and then i'm having a pear and i already have my coffee <laughs> Generally, I'll try and forgo breakfast because I'm not that hungry in the morning. I like to eat at night, so I like to kind of delay my calories. But where I'm heading out at 11 and I don't really know how long I'm going to be gone out, I don't want to be super hungry. I'm definitely going to be hungry when I get back because this is only about 200 calories. But that way, I just delay delayed a little bit and it kind of will satiate me and I get that like feeling of eating. So um, I know a lot of people are like, don't ever skip breakfast, do whatever works for you. For me, like I'm hungry at lunch, whether I ate breakfast or not. So I'm like, why am I eating breakfast if it's not doing anything for me? If I'm feeling distracted or hungry, of course I'll eat. But if I don't have to eat, then I won't. And I will eat those calories later on in the day. So um, yeah, this is what's for breakfast. Okay, so I'm just getting ready to head out the door and head to the Bite Beauty Lip Lab. There is one here in Toronto, one in New York that I've been to before when I was in New York, obviously. I'll link to that vlog down below, and then I think they opened up one in San Francisco as well, but I'm super excited. They invited me to come in and make some lipsticks. I actually, I don't know if this is like blasphemy or not, but I have a couple lipsticks from other brands that I want to try and recreate um, that I don't have in like typical lipstick format. So yeah, and I'm wearing their new... They extended the Bite Beauty liquefied lipstick shades. So I'm wearing the shade Hickory or Chicory and Hickama, I think. I'll list them down below. But anyways, I'm super excited. And then I'm actually, actually, yes, good reminder to myself. I'm going to take some makeup remover with me just in case because in case this goes long and I have to go to the dermatologist, I don't want to... Um, wear makeup at the dermatologist. I want him to see my face in all of its lack of glory. So let's head out the door. Look bad on me, so we're trying to make an unflattering color. 
I think I think what you're missing here is I only put on platinum colors for the most part. No, you've done full collections and they all look Well, Bite red. also makes some great colors, so. But it was really surprising that Amuse Bouche, the whip and caramelized, I was like, these are gonna be a nightmare. And then I was like, what? They look good. These are the most glorious nudes. They didn't look like concealer, yeah. which I did used to wear on my lips. We've all been there. We've all been there. <laughs> it was like an all May blemish Actually, concealer with a doe foot applicator. The first <laughs> time I came to the lip lab, uh, my request was, I want you to make me a lipstick that's concealer lips. Right. Yeah. Without oh, no. being concealer. I yeah. respect that. I respect anybody who brings in a concealer. And they nailed it. <laughs> and they're like, they give it. me this in <laughs> lipstick form. I'm just home from the lip lab. This is one of the lipsticks I made. I love, love the lipsticks that I made. I will show you. I mean, you already saw them a little bit, but I made like my perfect kind of everyday shade. Then I made this one, which is like perfect everyday, but peachy. Then I made like a mustard one. And then I made like a corally one and I got to name them all. And it was great. I will link, um, link to it down below if you guys want to go check it out. But now just came home to remove my heels, remove my makeup, and uh, head to the dermatologist. So kind of in a rush, but that is what uh, the plan is. <sighs> and I'm home, my goodness, it is so cold outside. Hi, Bubba's. You haven't seen Rumet yet. She's been in the same place all day, every time I come back. Um, so I just left the dermatologist and it went good, I think. Um, I've been prescribed some topicals and some actual medication. I'm not going to get into what it is because first of all, I just brought the prescription in and I don't know what it is. Um, I'm going to do some research tonight with my boyfriend. He is very knowledgeable in this kind of stuff. So I'm going to get him to take a look at everything. And I don't want to get into it because like, I don't know, it just feels even more invasive than what I already do. <laughs> um, and I feel like if you have to go to a dermatologist and let a dermatologist recommend things to you, and I'm not a dermatologist, so I don't want to say what I'm using, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully it won't be too expensive. I'm self-employed now, don't have personal health insurance. So that should be interesting, but I don't care. I would literally empty my bank account for this to end. I'm so freaking sick of it. Anyways, I'm starving. I just had those egg whites. I had a latte at the lip lab, and then I had a 100 calorie pack of baked Cheetos um, in between the lip lab and the dermatologist. So I'm gonna have the same lunch that I had yesterday. And oh, I got some PR, so let me show you that. So these are the items from the NARS 2018 Spring Collection. These look super fun. There is a powder blush in here and a liquid blush I love love these liquid blushes even if you have oily skin i highly recommend them they are so beautiful and so blendable so anything that i have already covered will be linked down below but if there's anything that you don't haven't seen me talk about uh let me know and kind of request as you see these things pop up in my vlogs and there's this oh my god it must be a pillowcase i mean it is a pillowcase and it must be from my aunt if you saw my last vlog she sent a sphinx mug what do you think of your new hairless sister or brother? Most people hate these cats. I personally cannot wait. I'm so excited. We're going to get one eventually. She was just playing. And might I add, if this was like Vlogmas or if I was a big time clickbaiter, I would title this video, I got a Sphinx cat. And then you'd click it and it was just a freaking pillowcase. But I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not that kind of guy. I didn't have the kind of guy. No. 
Okay, so I'm coming to you from my boyfriend's iPad to show you my dinner because my phone is dead and I was waiting for it to charge, but I'm hungry. And I know I've been showing you a lot of food today, but um, this is the last bit of prep that I have for this meal, so I wanted to show it to you. This is TVP. Oh, it's weird. I, I can't tell the scale of things because I'm filming on this iPad. This is TVP. It's like a textured vegetable protein. I've talked about it in a meal prep video before. I'll link to it down below. And I have tacos. This is like a pre-portioned guacamole. Uh, which is super delicious. It's just avocados and, and whatnot, but it's just easy and better because it's pre-portioned. And then this is kind of like a pico, but because I had onions in the TVP, this is like lime juice, jalapenos, cilantro, and tomatoes. So yeah, I know there's been a lot of food in this vlog. Let me know how you feel about that. I'm just like trying out a lot of different recipes and I love watching like what I eat in a day what I eat in a week type stuff um, and every vlog won't be like this but I did just kind of want to keep you up to date of what I'm eating while I'm trying to cut back so this is still super filling super yummy I am having like four tacos um, and the guac and everything is super filling it's really good so this is what I'm having I'm gonna watch some Law & Order Good morning guys, coming to you a little bit late. I forgot to vlog this morning, I didn't do anything though. Just doing work basically, just finished filming. Um, happy Valentine's Day, even though it's not Valentine's Day for you anymore. <laughs> um, unintentionally did a really super pink look, but really happy with how it all came out. So I will link to this Get Ready With Me down below. Here is the makeup mess after I film, in case you were curious. Um, it's always a disaster zone. <laughs> so anyways, I am not sure what else I'm doing today. I don't have any Thing planned I may actually wash this makeup off and do another video that I have to do while my hair is um, out and curly I got it cut I don't know if I mentioned this already but I've just got like a little trim to keep it healthy and whatnot but um, yeah I don't know what else is on the docket today I am feeling so accomplished. I took my makeup off, put more makeup on, uh, took some photos for something that I had to do, and I've just done so much work today and I'm so excited and I've been trying to distract myself with work because when you work from home and you have a fridge all access, you end up eating way too much. So I'm really just trying to calm the hell down with eating. Um, so it's good, I had egg whites and pear again this morning. And a coffee obviously now I'm having salmon and spinach again I definitely like to gorge at night so that's why I'm trying to really keep the daytime just calm and cool but I've been waiting for these products to show up some new stuff new Urban Decay palette new bomb bronzers and stuff and I just got two packages and I'm like oh god because I was I've been waiting for them to show up so that I could do it use them in my um, like using new makeup video and I've been like waiting 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 and I was like you know what I gotta film it is going up on Sunday Anyways, if that's those packages downstairs, I'm going to be so annoyed, but also excited that they're here. I'll be able to use them in another video. Anyway, so I'm going to eat lunch now, and I'm going to run downstairs and get those packages. And I got another package from Buxom there, too, so I'll show you that. And that's pretty much it. Feeling super accomplished, but I have so much cardboard to bring downstairs, too. So many boxes. Um, so that's always fun. Anyways, just rambling. I have really nothing to tell you, so I'm going to leave you be. Because I'm a child... Here's a snack I've been loving, Fruit Loops. I used to love Fruit Loops when I was a kid and I was like never allowed to really have them. So now I'm having them as a sweet treat because I didn't have any like carb with my lunch. Um, and I want something a little bit sweet. Obviously it's not the healthiest thing ever. I'm not the healthiest person ever. I'm gonna have some of this with a little almond milk. And this is 40 grams of cereal, if you can tell for scale. I don't know if you can even tell, but it's just crazy like what they say a serving of cereal is and what we all know that people actually eat for cereal in the morning. <laughs> um, not that this is like a good way to start your day necessarily, but it's a good way for me to enjoy my middle of the day, that's for sure. Okay, change of plans. I'm super excited. I was just editing my video, but Belinda, who I believe I've mentioned before, she's been my subscriber of the month. We chat all the time. She lives in Toronto, but like outside of Toronto or something like that. I don't know. And we've been meaning to like meet up and have a coffee because she works in the industry and we love chatting and just like gossiping and we have a lot of the same opinions. Anyways, she messaged me and she's downtown. So we're going to meet up and I'm so excited. We're just like internet friends and um, yeah, I'm nervous. It's like I'm going on a blind date, but um, I'm just getting some treats together for her and uh, I'm wearing the new NARS spring collection lipstick whatever this is in the shade 
Hellgate. But yeah, we're gonna go meet. Oh, it's so shiny. Look who it is! Oh. We're like, we literally met 40 seconds ago and we're arm in arm already. <laughs> yes, she's my internet bestie. Oh yeah! <laughs> Yay, we finally get to be friends! Yes. And I've got treats in my bag for you. Do you? Honestly, yes. guys, she's the best. <laughs> she really is. You, you have to say that about me now. You're walking oh, arm in um, arm with me down Can the we street. talk about your lip color though? <laughs> is this that NARS one that I love or is it like a new, new one? New NARS. New NARS. Spring 2018, baby. See, I can tell a NARS lip. <laughs> I can't. We're best friends now. We are. <laughs> I'm headed back out again. I just went to the pharmacy, picked up all my medications, and went home. And the bomb bronzers did show up, of course. I'll use those in an upcoming video, but I'm going to meet my boyfriend. It is beautiful out right now. It's like five degrees Celsius, and it's been so cold. So we're gonna go for a little Valentine's Day walk before he has to get back to work. Walking around on Valentine's Day is amazing. Someone's getting an espresso machine. I've seen balloons and roses. It's just like, all guys walking around with flowers. It's kind of sweet. Okay, sorry it is so dark, but I don't have time to go turn on the lights. I'm just doing some work. I've got to get my video ready for tomorrow. I've got a video that I need to send for approval. And I just got home. My boyfriend and I just went for a little walk. We went to St. Lawrence Market. And we always talk about going to like a market and picking up like fresh produce and meat and whatever else and like making a meal. So we just went and we like splurged a little bit. We bought like jumbo shrimp that four of them were like $25. Uh, jumbo scallops wrapped in bacon again four of them are like 30 bucks and then a steak baklava and then like some vegetables so he's gone back to work I'm doing work as well and then we're gonna meet up again at like nine o'clock tonight and have some wine and some dindins and I'm really excited but I have a ton of work to do so I'm going to leave you um, now and I will see you tomorrow morning morning so these were the um two slash four ingredient bagels i was talking about at the beginning of the week i just made them and they turned out really good i broiled them at the end just for like two minutes to get it a little harder on the top and these have lasted in the fridge for me for about two or three days and they're even better when you toast them because the inside is like a little bit doughy but um once you put like butter peanut butter cream cheese whatever on it it's super good and um, much lower calorie, higher protein. And believe it or not, after everything we ate last night, I don't think I went over by too much when it comes to like calories and fat. I was still under in carbs, um, under in sugar and stuff. And I mean, it was indulging, so no big deal. But anyway, so I'm just gonna have uh, these this morning and then later on I'm gonna head to Walmart, which is super exciting and check out the cosmetic section. I don't often go to Walmart, so that'll be good. And then, um, I'm not sure what else. Oh, I got some PR yesterday that I need to show you as well. So we decided to get a car to go, which is one of these little, if you can hear me, it's like a little tiny smart car. It's like a car sharing program that they have here in Toronto. And this is me, by the way. If you're ever to bump into me in the street, this is what I'll look like. Every time you see me in vlogs, like I'm by myself going to an event, so I'm obviously gonna be more dressed up, but this is more my uh, my skis here. I have no makeup on, just, just um, brow gel. Open the door for me. I'm vlogging and that's gonna be caught forever that you don't open the door for me. The world will know. You will burn. That's so rude. not so glamorous part of getting groceries is having to load them into this cart to bring them up to our apartment. And there's so much there. So here is my lunch. I'm having a little mini pita pizza. It's got 
lean turkey pepperoni, pineapple, light cheese, and then I use Greek yogurt as my base. I used to use barbecue sauce, but I figured, or I found that you couldn't really taste the barbecue sauce. So now I put the barbecue sauce on the side. And this is about 300-ish calories. I may make a second one depending on how I feel. I forgot to tell you guys yesterday, when we were at Walmart, my boyfriend and I like split up and I did one aisle, he did another. Anyways, he came across some teenagers. Well, he said they were 10, but I was like, I don't think 10 year olds are allowed out by themselves. I have no idea. They were under 15, we'll say. And they were buying Tide Pods. So he was like, what you guys doing? Like he, he doesn't care, like he'll talk to people. And they were like, oh, we're trying to get more Instagram followers. And he was like, you know, that's poison, right? And that can kill you. And they were like, yeah, like we want to get more followers. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. I thought it was just like an internet thing, but I can't believe he saw like real live teenagers buying Tide Pods. Silly kids. Hello, just coming to you with Rue, getting ready to head out the door. I am going to mail my um, Indeed Labs giveaway winner package. And oh, do you think this is a string? These are my new wireless headphones. They were sent to me. Um, from a brand called Oki, I think. Um, they're Canadian. <laughs> Rue has like a black string that we literally have to hide because she gets so pumped up on it. And then whenever she sees anything else, black and stringy. But they're wireless headphones. I'll link to them down below. They're on Amazon Canada. I think they're like 20 bucks. And um, I had them with the intention of working out, but um, I have mostly been using them when I blow dry my hair and really enjoying it because the cord doesn't get in the way. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was a little bit food focused and I forgot to mention, excuse me. I forgot to mention, oh, excuse me. I forgot to mention that everything I was eating, like that was not like a full on, oh my God, <laughs> dude, have some pride. Um, everything I was eating wasn't like a, what I eat in a day. Like I had supper, I had snacks. This was just kind of like showing you a little bit of an idea. So let me know if you like that. Every vlog is gonna be different based on what I'm kind of doing that week. And um, as you may have noticed, I didn't get to the gym this week, but I did walk a lot more. I wasn't as like stagnant as I normally am when I'm filming a lot of videos and editing. I was out and about a lot, which was good. I'm not gonna beat myself over, beat myself, beat myself up over it. Um, and I did have a really good kind of food week. So I'm feeling quite good and positive. Ah! You are just a terror today. And um, I feel like I had other things to say to you, but I don't remember. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Say bye. I'm a tear. Bye, guys.